Hey, my friend, this is The Longer Podcast, and we're going to find ways with a process in this podcast. There's a process in this podcast to help you change behaviors. Instead of following the old wives' tales of doing it for 30 days and on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and and it's so difficult. We're going to make it easy with a very simple process that you could do right now. Have a listen after this. Hey, this is the Personal Development Unplugged podcast where we use hypnosis. Yeah, hypnosis. NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Don't worry what it is. It's just a mass of processes that we're going to get you to change. Change to let go of anxiety, low self-esteem, and create massive, massive supreme inner confidence. But that's confidence in your competence and competence in your confidence, which means you can do anything and be, well, be safe to enjoy. Enjoy the world as it should be with you at the helm, creating the life that you want. That's what this podcast is about. You and being the best you you could be, singing from your real voice, aligned with your mission, aligned with your passions. That's what it's about. So if you're interested in letting go of anxiety, if you're interested in letting go of fear, guilt, all those blooming syndromes, imposter syndromes, and every little bit of the mind which is negative, then have a listen here because we've got some wonderful processes and lots of good conversations with between you and me to get us both thinking in such wonderful ways. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Just take the trance to have a have a listen. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey my friend, you're you're with me, Paul, on the longer podcast. And just one way. This is not the only way. This is just one way of changing behaviors because there's so many other ways you can do it. And one of the ways that that I think so many people try to learn, but they don't get it right, is they go and they follow that old wives' tale. If you know an old wife, anyway. I knew a few old wives and they told me this and they said, the only way to change your behavior, Paul, is that you have to make it a habit and consciously you have to do this new behavior for 30 days consecutively one day after the other and change that habit and the thing is if you fail on any of those days even day 29 you have to go and start again because you haven't done the 30 consecutive days to make this this new way this new habit well change the new behavior into a habit and you know what does it work well I suppose it might do, but you know, if you don't know an old wife or things like that, I think it's BS myself. But it's one way. That is a way of doing it consciously. You just persist because you see, that's a cognitive, conscious way of trying to change, to persist. And you persist and, and you may get there. You may do. But you know what? It's bloody hard. It's really hard to make those changes and to do it with. With your brain, because if you think about it, if you think about it, all the things, or most of them, not this is big generalization, Cluffy, most of the things you do habitually are unconscious. So, why would you want to change things consciously if it's run by your unconscious mind? You'd go to the unconscious, wouldn't you? And we'll go there in a minute. But you think, let's, let's take this cognitive, conscious way of changing, persisting. Now, you could add to that to make it a little easier. And you can do that by adding a review, reviewing your progress. So before you get to that failure on one of those days, you do it for the first day, first few days, and then you look back and you review, review your progress. You can put that cross on that diary. The thing is, putting that cross on the diary, the real thing is you get into that habit of, I don't want to stop that progression, which is a good thing to do, but it's still bloody hard. 
But if you review, you make it a little bit easier because you get that. Well, it feels better, doesn't it? It feels better that, to know that you've done something and you, you're doing it. The thing is, it's still bloody hard. But you can add to that. See, there's all these things you can add. You can add to, well, find your why. What? Yeah, find your why, why it's important to you. People never tell you that. Just find the why. Now, it's why is this, this change, this new behavior important to you? Because if you can find the value in it, and it matches your unconscious values, then you will start to change. So what is important? What is the value of changing? Because sometimes, some of the times when we fail, the importance of value is not as big as other values. And therefore, it falls away. So we have to find that why and make that why as big as possible to make it so important that then when we review, we'll get that progress because we'll really persist because we have a real incentive now because we've found our why, our value, the positive value of changing. It's still bloody hard though. But you're going to add to that. Can you, Cluffy? Of course you can. You can add to everything. So you can add, having done that, you're going to consciously, cognitively persist. You're going to review and you're going to find your why. You're going to add, visualize, visualization, because that's what you've got in, in oodles. You've got bucketfuls of visualization. It is limitless. See, one thing that God, the universe, somebody, or just you, gave you the power to visualize your imagination. No one can take that away from you. No one can control it. So you could visualize the end, the end of that 30 days and see yourself having achieved the 30 days progress, see yourself having reviewed with all that lovely why and get the feeling, get that feeling of the wish fulfilled. I'll say that again, get that feeling of the wish fulfilled, the feeling of, of achievement. Now, that makes it a little better, doesn't it? Because now we're getting there, aren't we? Because now we're starting to understand our intention. This is what I want, and this is the feeling I want, our intention. And when you have that feeling of the wish fulfilled, your intention, you can become confident because you have a true intention. Just as Jordan Peterson said, that's where confidence comes from. You, you get your confidence from finding your intention. And when you're confident in that intention, you've got the confidence to find your why. You've got that confidence to, to just keep pushing, reviewing and persisting. So you're nearly there now, but it's still quite hard because you've still got to persist consciously, really push through those 30 days. And that's a bloody long time as well, isn't it? 30 days. All these, apart from the first one, all the the various bits we're going to add on, the degrees of which we, we use things like finding our why, reviewing. That's a bit more conscious, maybe, but visualizing. It's all using parts of our unconscious mind or communicating with our unconscious mind. I think that's better. You're communicating with your unconscious mind where you want to go, your aim, your goal, your wish, your dream. And the thing is, we said before, if your unconscious mind is the storer, the user of habits, behaviors, or generates your habits, your behaviors, generates your emotions, then maybe we can get there quicker, easier than having to slog away and finding an old wife to start off with. <laughs> Once an old wife. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get back on track, Cluffy. But you see, you're here with me. I'm here with you. And this Personal Development Unplugged podcast has at its core NLP, Neuro Linguistic Program, Programming, which is just really a set of wonderful processes that just bloody work. And they also incorporate and were born out of hypnosis, which goes to the heart of your unconscious mind. So, wouldn't you go there first? Well, I would. Of course I would. I'm a hypnotist. 
Go there and get your unconscious mind to make the changes so you don't consciously have to. The only part you would do, probably, is to review. Because when you review it, you're just tracking your progress and feeling good. So, and the wonderful thing about this is there's more than one process to get here. So I said this is not the only way. But what I've done is I've merged a couple of processes together. And that's the beauty of it. And that's what we do, my sons and I. We look to different processes to find the best parts of them and put them together to create another process born out of all the different things, evolve it and make it as good as we can, really. And then we'll improve it again as we, we get better ourselves. So if we merge these, a good process and another good process, we'll get the best results, I think, when it's most appropriate anyway. And you see, it's not this process is the only thing for that issue. Hell no. We can adapt it. We can adapt to anything we want. And that's what we're going to do. So the thing is, would you like to come with me? Come with me on, first of all, a little journey, well, adventure of going through these processes. And I've got to remind you, first of all, I'm not your therapist. I am a therapist, but not yours. I have to say that. But this is mainly going to be just visualization. And if, it, if I feel like it, and I think if, if you feel like it too, I may well go and put this into a really deeper, because I've got another process like this, but even deeper and put it into the hypnosis programs I've got. You know, the free ones. Where'd you get those from, Cluffy, I hear you say? If you're new anyway, or maybe you've forgotten. Well, you go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast, and there's 55, or something like that anyway, hypnosis and NLP processes, all free for you. And you can download them, which makes it an absolute awesome thing. So, the 90 seconds of hypnosis tracks. Why have I put hypnosis tracks on a separate website? Well, it's so simple, really. I wanted you to have them all in one place. So you can look through them all. You can find the particular one you want. I've even made them downloadable. So you can put them on any of your playing devices that you prefer. You don't need Wi-Fi. You don't need the iTunes or whatever. You can put them anywhere you like. You can even burn them onto disc if you want. Where do you get them? Well, there you go. I told you it's paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. If you're worried about your email address, please don't be because they stay totally safe with me. I only use them to send you out that email and give you access. Simple as that. I send you a link, a special link, so you and only you can access those hypnosis tracks because I want them just for you. And the other thing about this is You've taken responsibility. I don't want to make these open to everyone, just random. You have taken responsibility to listen and be part of this community of personal development. And I want to help you. I want to help you personally to get your dreams, your goals. And therefore, I'm giving you these tools, these protocols, these paradigms, whatever you want to call them, but in deep hypnosis. So just enjoy. Have more fun than you can stand with hypnosis. Well, yeah, I know, it's brilliant, but I want you to follow with me. And if we do do this process, and if you like it, it may just be the thing that changes your behavior just the way you want it. But if you want a deeper and more hypnotic uh, way of doing this, then maybe we'll do that and I'll let you know if that happens. But you'll maybe you want to let me know by email me, emailing me at feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com if that's what you'd like. I need a little bit of encouragement sometimes. Not a lot. Anyway, remember, even though this isn't hypnosis, it does mean things like closing your eyes. It does mean, well, just going for the process, to having the will to do whatever it takes. So you will need a place where you'll be undisturbed. You're not going to go... You know, you're going to close your eyes, so you're not going to be driving or anything like that. But you could do this sitting in the park, sitting at your office. Doesn't need to be, it's not deep hypnosis, put it that way. 
It's just closing your eyes and doing some, well, you're going to have to follow with me. So if that's okay, if that's okay, make sure everything's going to be safe and sound. You're going to be comfortable. You're going to be safe. But first of all, before we even close our eyes, you can do it anyway, but sometimes I like you to write this stuff down because it's, it's good to write it down. I want you to identify the behavior you would like to change. And just think about it now. I know this is a slightly negative side because I always like to think of how would you like to be, but I just want to know how you are right now. Let's identify this, not issue, this, this habit, this behavior you'd like to change. So it's not a big, big biggie. It's just a habit, a behavior you'd like to change. And it's good to just write it down because that focuses your mind, focuses the unconscious mind. Because if it's important to you to change, and this is a behavior that you want to get rid of, and it is important, then writing it down is not that biggie. It's not a bigger deal, is it? And as you write that down, I just want you to think just for a moment. When you're doing this behavior that you like to change, what belief do you have about yourself? If you know, if, if it come, comes up, what belief do you have about yourself? that makes this behavior so. And maybe write that belief down. Because again, it's good to identify, get it out, because then you know when it's gone, it's gone. Now, having done that, have a think about when you change and it's disappeared, what difference would it make to you? What is the difference by having a new behavior in its place? a behavior which is more appropriate, a behavior which is more empowering. Because when you drop one, you obviously put something in its place. But just think, what is the difference it would make? Sometimes it's just like a little habit of biting your nails. What, what difference would that make? Well, actually, it wouldn't look that bad, would it? Because it looks bad biting your nails. And those nails, they, they look bloody horrible. When you, you see some people, they bite them so deep. Those type of things. Oh, I got, I got this, this particular way. I just, I, I just keep, I don't know, scratching my forehead. I don't know what that. I'm just making these little things up, little behaviours that, if you changed it, make you maybe make. I say that again, might even make you more confident in yourself. Who knows? And just think, just for the moment, maybe just close your eyes and think, what is the difference? Changing this behaviour would make to me. And when you think about that, you might even get a feeling, mightn't you? Probably will. Just feel. Now then, what I want you to do, just thinking, just thinking how you would like to be, having made that change all the changes but having made that change to let go of that behavior and be the way you want to be how would you be now i'd like you to close your eyes if you haven't done already as long as it's safe to do so and see yourself over there that's right just see another you over there having made those changes what do they look like over there how are they walking how are they moving? What, are, what impression do you get from them? And in fact, just float over there into them and be, be yourself, having made those changes. Notice what it's like in that context where those changes will be the most beneficial to you, the most appropriate. These, and notice this new way of being. What does it feel like? Maybe it even feels different in your physical body. Maybe you're more relaxed. I don't know. Just what does it feel like? What does it feel like emotionally? Having made this change now. And maybe, just maybe, you can understand what belief you have about yourself. Having made this change now.
and just think. Would being like this, having these new ways, having let go of that old behaviour, be important to you? How important? And as you feel that feeling now, really feel the feeling. Maybe just squeeze a finger and a thumb together. Just gently, as you feel the feeling. <sighs> That's right. And you say to yourself, this or something better. And as you do that, just feel the feeling, squeezing that finger gently together. Finger and thumb. And then just let it go. And if you want to, you can do this with another context. Just imagine yourself over the... Well, just imagine going into that other context. and Forget the other... That you over there. Just go straight into that other context. Being the way you want to be. Having the behaviours you want. Having let go of that old behaviour. Notice how it feels physically, emotionally. And the belief that you have about yourself. Firing off that anchor. So you squeeze that finger and thumb together to get that feeling again even more intensely. And just noticing how important this is to be this way, to you. Saying this or something better. And as you do that, I want you just to remember this feeling. Because I want your unconscious mind to go ahead and discover the natural cue that it will use to trigger this new behaviour. In all situations. In all the situations that you want to be different. And at the unconscious level, you can discover that trigger. And maybe go out at an unconscious level through the next seven days. Noticing how when you use this trigger to fire these new behaviours, how many wonderful changes you've made already. And finding new skills. And feel so empowered. Feeling the success. And maybe at the unconscious level you'll go even further. Further out to the future. Utilising these new behaviours. Firing that trigger. This or something better. And as you do that, you can just open your eyes and come back to me. That it wasn't hypnosis, and it isn't, but we've talked to your unconscious mind, because I can talk to your unconscious mind, because they're a good friend of mine, you know. We got on well. And that was a very short version, a short version of a longer process. But it's a process, it's a, it's a lovely little process, that if you can do that, not if, when, and, so it's when, and you do it. And maybe you do it just a few times, not many, because we're... I'm not asking you to do it every day for the next 30 days because that would be like the first thing. But just get that feeling, the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Noticing how important it is to you to change, what it feels like, firing off that anchor, which is just really just squeezing that finger and thumb together again, just as you do it. Maybe as you go into that context, or you notice how you want to be today, you just fire off that anchor to remind you because you're reminding your unconscious mind, this is how I want to be. It's important to me. This or something better. And then notice how things change. We're still going to do that review because reviewing our changes, we sh I think we should do that most days. In some ways, I review mine in my little journal. The first part of my journal is how my yesterday was. What have I learned from yesterday? And how can I apply that today? Am I happy with it? Can I make it better? We can always make things better, can't we? And I know probably you're thinking, hell, Cluffy, that was pretty simple. Really, is it going to work? What do you think? We know. Even from my last podcast, you know, don't be, don't be fooled by the simple things. Because in simplicity, there is genius. And when we break these things down into simple ways, your unconscious mind, well, your unconscious mind will always go for the simple way the most direct way, the easiest way to find that change. And we're now directing to where we want to be. And you're also setting your intention. Your intention, this is how I want to be. How I'll be when I have all those changes. 
which is setting your intention and getting that confidence in that intention. Because when you feel that, you go, well, if I can feel it and I can see it and I can be there in my head, in my imagination, I can do it in real life. And we've got our unconscious mind to find that, that trigger that will fire these new behaviours off in the most appropriate way. So I just hope, well, not hope, well, I do. I hope you enjoyed that process. And you can use it as many times as you like, by the way, for different behaviours. Just play around. Because the more fun we have, as long as we have serious fun, we make things work. Because when we're doing things with, with joy in our heart, a little bit of gratitude, things just happen. So you don't have to I've got one of my notes was don't listen to others. I like the old wives' tale. These are simple things. And if it resonates with you, just play. You can always get your old behavior back if you want to. Just ask for it. But if you find this or something better, just notice how wonderful life. And, if you, and when you do this, what else can you do that will change your life every day? making things look absolutely wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this podcast, this process, this way of you know, doing a process within a podcast. I love doing this when we can, not just talking about things and, and giving you ideas what to change, but actually do a process. I think it's good fun, isn't it? Where we can really be there. And be there together, I guess. And then you can send me the feedback, if you want, um, of of whether, whether you want to, to do it in a different way, whether there's a different behavior. Maybe there's, you're finding it a little bit difficult to, to imagine, to visualize. Let me know these things. Very difficult when we, 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 we're not conversing and communicating one-to-one. -one. But if you let me know one-to-one -one by email, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com, I can make sure that, if need be, we'll revisit this. Make it more specific. Because it'll always, every time we change a process, we can always go back to the old process. We can do the new one. It evolves. And that's the beauty of all of this. And I love it. So any feedback you give me will be taken with a wonderful sense of gratitude and thanks. Because I really appreciate anything we can do or you can do for me to make, so I can improve, improve my communication, improve my skills, just improve what I'm doing here for you it would be awesome. And the only thing I ask in return is, could you share this podcast? Could you share the Personal Development Unplugged podcast and any episode, especially this one, but any episode that you just felt there was some benefit for you? Hopefully you can find a golden nugget in everyone. They don't always hit the mark, but sometimes they do. And it's like a compounding thing that you don't quite get the first one. And then something else will come along and that all just comes together. And that's the beauty of this thing. So please do share this. And just to let you know, I still haven't taken off the discount, the massive, massive Christmas discount off my Supreme Inner Confidence. I'll be doing that very shortly, probably a week or so after this, uh, this goes out. So you want to take advantage of that? Go and have a look at paulcloughonline.com and... It's there. But hey, that's another thing. You don't have to. Just enjoy and make your life the best life and the best you, the best version of you every day. And the whole world will get so much nicer to be in. Because we'll all feel it when we're being at our best, won't we? Spread the joy and happiness and the love. Anyway, sending big hugs to you and I'll see you and speak with you real soon. Bye-bye now. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.